Hey, well, look, you know how we know this is the biggest regular season game in the history of regular season, regular seasons in professional sports? How? I mean, there's trap games and there's overlooking the point opponents, right? This game is so big, and I don't know if this is how it's been in Boston. I don't know if this is how it's been nationally. I know there have been stories coming out that's kind of like, you know, laying the foundation for an emotional week, whether that's, you know, Tom Brady Sr. or Alex Guerrero, Brady's personal trainer, or, you know, like, there's been conversation about it, and we've had conversation about it. But um, the Bucks are at the Rams, okay, <laughs> this weekend. All right, in a, in a, in a, a game, game like you know, it might be their first of two visits to SoFi Stadium, and they may end up having to go through the Rams when it's all said. Now I know you're not a big believer. Didn't they Meanwhile, play last year? The Saints didn't they, play, didn't they lose to the Rams last year? They played Rams last uh, year and, and lost to them, right? I don't remember. I know those. Honestly, I, I don't remember. I can't remember who won. I think they did play last year, and I think the Rams actually beat them. So I don't remember. And the Patriots yeah. are playing hosts. To the Saints, I know the Saints look like they look terrible last week, but I mean, it, you got to respect the Sean Payton, New Orleans Saints group. I mean, this game in week four is so big until we talking about it before both of these teams have had a chance to play very right. significant opponents in week three. That's how big it is. Like, oh, oh yeah, they got, oh they got the Rams this week. The freaking Rams, another contender in the yeah. NFC. Yeah, it's like it, it's really got a. Uh... It, there's so many analogies, but it does have a college football home, not homecoming, but a college football rivalry uh, week feel to it. Uh, you know, it's you're like Alabama four? Auburn. Yeah, it's about Bucks. Yeah, Bucks Patriots. Like, okay. Yeah, Bucks Patriots, where it's like Alabama Auburn, but before Alabama gets to Auburn, there's another game. Auburn is playing somebody else, but you're still thinking about that next week. And the Patriots, especially, like the Bucs can afford it because the Bucs are a really talented team. There are no questions about them. The, the Patriots are still trying to find themselves offensively. Uh, they're just trying to uh, establish an identity. They got a rookie quarterback, so they just can't go out there. and they, they ain't, They're not so talented. They can just show up and st play poorly and beat a team. Now, the Bucs probably can. So there's that analogy, the college football analogy. Then, Mike, there's the... Marriage gone wrong. Now, thank the Lord that, that neither one of us have that story to tell. That's not your testimony, nor is it mine. You're happily married, as you told uh, Stephen Curry, 16 years for you, 14 years for me, 10 years uh, for Stephen and Aisha Curry. Congratulations. Now, the Patriots, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, had us all beat at 20 years, 20 years. But out of those 20, I think they had 17 good ones and three bad ones. And now that it's over, like everybody is behind the scenes, sniping and whispering and just being nasty, man. Like this is like, oh, oh, bring the kids to the gas station and then we'll meet in the gas station. I'm gonna throw your stuff right there. <laughs> and if you're not there on time, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna leave your suitcase by pump number five. I mean, it's just some ugly. water, just some, some water roses type on. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And so, Look, Mike, it's so bad that Tom Brady's masseuse, I mean, it's the massage guy. Uh, Alice Guerrero is the massage <laughs> dude <laughs> and hitting people. This is business partner and trader, like the massage guy. Like, what's wrong with masseuse, Come on, dude? Man. Like, 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 Come on. <laughs> hey, come on. Bill, this dude. Hey, come on. Bill Belichick didn't evolve. Hey. I'm going to tell you. Hey, you're not on his level, though. So you're not on his level. You, you talking like your don't, wait, <laughs> But don't shoot the messenger. Is the message accurate? I mean, he has a point. It, he does have a point. Look, if Bill Belichick was still treating Tom Brady the same way he treated everybody else and the same way he treated Tom Brady in his 20s, I could see how that could be problematic. We just saw Aaron Rodgers bitch and complain because he ain't picking the players. What you think yeah, Tom right. Brady well, feels well, like if, if, if Belichick is still yeah. telling him it's still treating him like he's 20 years old. I, I, that's a legitimate gripe, yeah. even if it is coming through a proxy in the form of, as you call him, his masseuse. It, Hell, well, that masseuse got him playing until he's 44. <laughs> he's doing something right. That, Shit, we should have that. We should, Alex Guerrero no, can help me no, out. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Stop it. Stop it. That's Tom Brady. By, by dint of his, of his discipline and his will and his talent. Oh, right. Stop.
Okay. You, you got Alex Guerrero should, should not be taking credit for Tom Brady, but he says, now listen, he, he, he says, listen to this man is very careful. He says, we sick, we sick, boss, we sick. No, he really does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. He was talking about the Buccaneers. We love it here. It's great. The coaching is great. Ownership is great. Hold on. Let's let's Alex let's, hold on. Let's, just, let's just let's just put him on the screen. Let's just, wait. Hold on. Let's let's do it the right way. Uh, we got we got the quotes. We got the quotes from the. So this is Karen Garigian, old friend of ours, Boston Herald. Yeah. Uh, it was like Bill never really. I think his emotions or feelings never evolved with age. As Tom got into his late 30s or early 40s, I think Bill was still trying to treat him like that 20 year old kid that he drafted. And all the players I think realized Tom was different. Went on to say he's older, so he should be treated differently. And all the players, none of them would have cared that he was treated differently. I think that was such a Bill thing. He never involved. So you can't treat someone who's in his 40s like they're 20. It doesn't work. He's right. All oh, the facts. players. Listen, no listen, cap. Listen, listen, okay, I don't, I don't hold on. Keep it right there, Gary. No, no, no. Bring that back. Bring that back. Bring that back, Gary. Bring that Keep back. Keep it right there. I just want to go. Can I, can I? Can I just walk through this? And all the. Okay, he's older, so he should be treated differently. Says the masseuse. And all the players, none of them would have cared that he was treated differently. Says the massage guy. Like, how do you know all the play? You reading the locker room now? What? No, he ain't got to you, be. You're Michael. Yes, wait, he does. You don't have this hey, problem Bill, anymore. He some never us, evolved. Some of us. Bill Belichick you don't have this never problem evolved. Anymore. You know who I talk to a lot every Friday at 530 guy named country who? my barber. He knows my innermost thoughts. I know you don't have that relationship anymore. Okay. You don't think the masseuse is an authority on Tom Brady. You don't think the masseuse the has heard Tom Brady say you, uh, you don't think he yeah. knows what time it I is? Think the he's a credible source. He's a credible I think the masseuse source. Is, His trainer and business partner that, is a credible source. Look, a legit, look, that's a legit hit me on the show. Hook, 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 hook me up on my shoulders a little bit right here, Alex. Okay, look, look, stop. I think he is See, a credible source. It, it, Stop. I, 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 Stop. I, I, when the last time you had a massage? <laughs> when the last time you had a massage? I, I, when the last time you had a deep tissue? Uh, a couple of times. Probably a couple weeks ago. Probably a couple weeks ago. Anyway, uh, and I've been to the barber shop this week. Thank you very much. I still go to the barber shop just to get a professional. Well, it's job. too quick now, for you to have a conversation. Um, but listen, <laughs> no, have a good conversation. Um, I'm not saying he's not a credible source on Tom Brady. What I'm saying is he he is not forced to think big picture like Bill Belichick. Now he does make some good points. It is difficult. To have a player in his 20s, then have a player in his 40s, and that player is still playing at an elite level. He was elite in his 20s, 30s, and 40s. And how do you speak to him? How do you manage a guy like that? Because I'm going to tell you a secret. Here, here it is. Here it is. Big secret. Bill Belichick's never had to do it before in his career. First time he's had a player who was elite in his 20s, so 30s, and 40s, and he had to coach him. So he's so never, he never had to do it. But the flip side is, the flip side is, Alex Guerrero nor Tom Brady has had to think about what it's like to be to speak to an entire group of men and to figure out how to manage them all out how to manage them all and keep them all on the same page without people getting caught in. Oh, why'd you do that for him? Why'd you do that for him? Double standards and all this because he's so the greatest player of all time. The What's the point? Hey, uh, Stop. Get the no, no, stop it. No, stop the it. Players, stop no, it. Every, no, no, that's how you're you done. Think. We're done. And that's here. how I think. We're done here. That's we're how done I here. think. We're done. We're, we've lost him. <laughs> like, no, no, I got a little something. No, right here, dude, we're talking about the greatest something. player of all time. And we talked tight. about making exceptions for exceptional people. If you have a problem with how I'm treating Bill Belichick, says an evolve, treating Tom Brady, says an evolved Bill Belichick, grow up to be the greatest player of all time. And then, we'll, and then we can talk. Well, we, this is why we need to talk. Before we talk, let's get some disclosures on the table. Since you said, oh, you said it, so I'm not going to disrespect him. I'm going to call him what you called him. Alex Guerrero, as the business partner, as a made man by Tom Brady, as somebody who has had his career scooped out of the ditches and exalted by Tom Brady, you don't, you think he's credible or do you think this is somebody? Oh, 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 Google. Oh, I'm making it up. Google Alex Guerrero. 
Google Alex Guerrero controversy and tell me I'm lying. Okay, so as somebody who has been saved by Tom Brady, uh, Google it. I ain't lying. I know the story. I know the story. You shooting the messenger. You are shooting the messenger. Story. You sound like no, a prosecution. I'm saying. You sound like a pro you sound like a prosecutor right now. You want to discredit the witness. Agenda. The witness is still, is still giving agenda. you facts. The witness was there. He was there for it. The witness knows Brady and, better than you do. And he's compromised. In ways you don't. He's compromised. He's compromised. So are you. So and are I know you. some things. So and I know you. things that he does. So are you. So are you. I know things that so he you. does. You're compromised. I'm not Maybe compromised. You're compromised. I haven't, been paid, I haven't been paid by Maybe you have an I haven't agenda. been directly. Maybe you have an agenda. I haven't Not been directly, directly paid <laughs> exactly. by Bill Belichick exactly. or exactly. Tom Brady. Directly. Exactly. See? Exactly. Exactly. Worse, exactly. Yeah. No, I got you.